let's take Vodafone first of all. Sales growth, when you looked at its top line, was actually falling. So that doesn't sound very healthy. But when you look at organic growth, that is the number of people they're adding, they're actually doing rather well. Two beacons of growth for Vodafone on the one hand is data traffic growth. As you know, we're all using the mobile internet more. And they saw 61% growth in their data traffic. So that's really good, strong growth on the mobile side. And of course, secondly, you will have seen already the adverts on TV. Vodafone have launched a broadband package to compete with the likes of BT, Sky and TalkTalk. Talk. They're a bit late to the game, but they have added 675,000 people to this service already. So it is definitely building momentum. However, Vodafone did take a loss of five billion pounds on their Indian unit. That means that their Indian unit, they esteem to be worth five billion pounds less than they thought it was worth previously because of very tough competition in India. So that's the fly in the ointment for Vodafone. Even though the analyst target is 27% higher than the current share price, which sounds very attractive, and even though the dividend yield, the income you get from the stock, is 6.3% annually, which is again, very attractive, the share price trend is down. That suggests that people are a little disappointed with the progress at Vodafone, and I think even though it looks attractive today, you should wait, because it may look even more attractive in a few weeks' time. Secondly, TalkTalk. Talk. Now, TalkTalk Talk is a broadband provider that had problems with a data hacker, I think you remember, giving a security breach. And this really damaged their brand. Have they recovered from this near-death experience? Well, the results don't look too bad. Churn, that is the number of people they lose, is going down, which is a good thing. But on the flip side, competition for broadband subscribers is increasing. We already have BT and Sky, who are very big competitors, and now we have Vodafone joining the competition. So TalkTalk Talk is struggling to recruit new subscribers and to generate new growth. Overall, the income, 8% yield, is very, very attractive, but it means they're paying up all of the profit they earn as dividend. So the question I have is can they maintain this level of dividend into the future? And the answer is I'm not sure. So even though analysts see the price target 16% above where it is today for TalkTalk, Talk, again, I would wait because I think we need to see more signs that the company is really improving before you want to be, as an investor, buying into TalkTalk. Talk. So for now, Vodafone and TalkTalk, Talk, interesting, high yielders, but my advice would be to wait a little longer.